In this video, I'm going to show you how to legally obtain an Atari 5200 BIOS file, as well as a selection of games to use in your emulation projects. While the Atari 5200 may be a niche system, it's actually been one of my better performing emulation tutorials. Unfortunately, it is a system that required a BIOS file, and up to this point, I thought that the only way to really get one was to dump it from your own Atari 5200 console using a hardware mod, or, you know, just downloading them illegally. But it turns out that there is another option available if you are willing to shell out $10. On Steam, there is a program known as Atari Vault. Now, I've owned Atari Vault for a number of years now. I don't, I don't remember exactly when I picked it up, but I never really played it a whole lot. Even though I love Atari games, I still prefer to just play them on the actual Atari or just through RetroArch, even though Atari Vault... I don't know, I don't really have any real complaints with it. I just don't prefer to play games through it, if that makes sense. I don't know, it's just an oddity for me. I, I, I feel like I should really enjoy it, but I don't know. Like, eh, whatever. It doesn't freaking matter! <laughs> but, if you buy Atari Vault... It comes with a selection of Atari 2600 games and Atari Arcade games, and as the program has been updated, they have released a DLC that includes Atari 5200 games. What's interesting though, you don't have to buy the DLC to get access to the Atari 5200 files. They are included in the base game. You just can't use them in the actual Atari Vault program of all the oddities. So you can spend $10 to pick up Atari Vault, and you will get access to Atari 5200 games and the BIOS file. If you want to feel a little bit more legit about it, you can also drop the $5 to get the add-on pack, which I'm personally going to do, so BRB. But there we go. But once you own Atari Vault, how do you get that Atari 5200 BIOS file and games? Well, let me show you. By going to your Atari Vault game listing in your Steam library, all you need to do is right click on it, go down to manage, and browse local files. From here, go into Atari Vault data, and go into the streaming assets folder. Now open the Focal emulator folder, and there is a 5200 folder right here. Now inside this folder, we have our Atari 5200 games, and a BIOS file. So what we're gonna do is just copy everything Atari 5200 related out of this folder into a new folder on the desktop real quick. And let's just go ahead and copy that into there. And there we go. So these Atari 5200 games are going to work in most emulators by default, even though they have a bin extension instead of an A52 extension. That's fine. They still work. But we do need to change up the BIOS file a bit to get it to work in different emulators. So the Atari 800 emulator is looking for this to be named 5200.rom. And before you try this rename process, if you're on Windows 10, go into the View tab here and make sure that you have file name extensions checked so that way you see the file name and its, and its extension. But now we could just go ahead and rename the BIOS file. Just like that. And I'm just gonna move this to the desktop real quick just so I don't need to mess with it anymore. And I have my Atari 5200 game separated. Yeah, let's rename the folder games while we're at it. There we go. And that's going to cover the Atari 5200 side of things. If you want to go through and dig out all the Atari 2600 or Atari arcade games, they are all in this folder as well. So just over a hundred Atari games that you can pull out of this. It's really awesome. But again, the purpose of this video was to show the Atari 5200 side of things. So there you have it, a legal way to get an Atari 5200 BIOS file and a selection of games for use on emulation projects. Again, it's not free, but $10 really isn't a whole lot to do things the right way if you are so inclined. If you don't give a crap, you don't give a crap. More power to you, I guess. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask in the comment section below. If you'd like to see how to get this Atari 5200 BIOS file and games up and running in an emulator like RetroArch, there will be a link in the description below for that to show you how to do so. 
But that's going to do it for this one. So as always, thank you all so much for watching. Really means a lot to us that you spend any time here on the channel and help it grow. We're so close to hitting our goals. Thanks to all of you. Just huge shout out to each and every one of you for that. But now if you could all do me a huge favor, be sure to hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, just depending on how much you like today's video. And if you haven't already, hit that sub button so you can see when new videos like this go live. It goes a long way to helping out the channel, and we are super grateful to all of you for that. If you'd like to further help support the channel, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. A little really goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing more content like this to you. And for all of our current champions, thank you so much for being the rock stars that you are. We just greatly appreciate each and every one of you. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, stay awesome, and we will see you all back next video.